this is going to be about battery powered vacuum cleaners you've probably seen them before those little dust busters up to those stick vacs and i don't mean the plug-in stick vacs bissell makes black and decker makes i mean like the battery power one like the shark one up to the dysons they're very nice machines they're very expensive and they're really good to have i i love having i love having my little dust buster like battery power hand vacs are good to have they clean your stairs and your sofa getting up to battery power uprights not gonna work so those vacuums are not really great for to vacuum the whole entire house like vacuuming a whole house with a battery power vacuum that's not gonna work a cordless machine a corded vacuum will be the best so if you have like say a small apartment up to like a small little condo or a small little house and you really want to get a battery power vacuum that's totally different if let's say if you bought a vacuum cleaner right now it's a small little vacuum i'm gonna be talking about today the the little vacuum cleaner the of uh, like the hoover air steerable cordless and uh, they don't even i don't know they even make that in, anymore they're horrible machines they don't last long time those dysons how many times you go for these batteries james dyson wants to make cordless machines they're not going to make uprights anymore compared to shark they still make their uprights guess what you be talking about getting an upright vacuum cleaner i'll pick up everything you can get yourself a dyson a shark a hoover top of those carpet cleaners battery power carpet cleaners they don't have that much power they don't have that much they won't pick up anything they'll pick up like maybe one little piece of mess that's it if let's say if you bought a regular bigger carpet cleaner like the bissell pro heat and i have some videos on my i'll have links below for the bissell pro heat videos i have those bissell pro heats that will clean out clean over a cordless machine you plug it in and turns on number one is a bis if let's say maybe it's something like maybe a bissell or a knockoff version of that thing from the bissell just came out it's a cordless version i don't recommend gaining that machine because number one is you can't clean your whole entire floors with a cordless machine like the crosswave you heard those crosswaves before they clean and mop your floors they're the best to have they're one of my favorite machines i love my bissell crosswave too much i have a bissell crosswave i like it too much i just love having my bissell crosswave they have a cordless version too that's the best machine to buy like you'd be talking about getting a machine like that that pick up picks up everything good for like quick messes if you're doing a whole entire floor you need something that plugs into a socket not a vacuum cleaner with a two foot power cord that it calls an extension cord how many times those machines catch on fire how many times cheap vacuums like those dirt devils horrible how many times they catch on fire some reviews about those bissels catching on fire those power force helix i had my power force helix for three years nothing happened to it. i just clean it, i take care of it that's much nothing happened to my pro heat there's a heater in there it's it's better than the other version the heater one because they don't even doesn't even pick up the other one's horrible garbage the pro heat the only original one it's the best one to buy if you're gonna buy an industrial vacuum cleaner you're gonna have to buy something that picks up everything like you're gonna be picking up vacuuming your lawn with that machine it's like having a battery power leaf blower you notice those battery power leaf blowers that blow your leaves in california can't have gas power leaf blowers have that battery power leaf blowers yes they're just the best to have yes they use use a use battery yes they work they don't last long time i recommend using it for like small little blowing things but i don't recommend them blowing let's say a whole entire grass away it's good for like small areas battery power leaf blowers cordless leaf blower corded leaf blowers are 10 times better like you plug in your wall socket like they can last like to 30 years just for a leaf blower 30 years how many times those cordless leaf cordless leaf blowers do you take the battery out or probably some you plug it in i know some they all you take out the battery and they all sometimes share the battery with with their other machines like a lawnmower a weed eater up to a all their machines how many times you pick up too much dirt you pick up so much stuff you vacuum the carpets you vacuum the floors and that's it it's like buying a good old power leaf 
blower that runs on battery. Yes, the thing works. Yes, it picks up a lot, of, it blows a lot of leaves. Next is going to be a really good machines. I really do enjoy having a leaf blower. My leaf blower is a corded Toro Ultra Blower Vac. Ultra Blower Vac. It's the best machine. It outlasts a cordless leaf blower. I only have a cordless leaf blower. And I know I really don't do any leaf blower videos. But I will do that Toro leaf blower video in the future. It works. I can plug it into my wall socket. I can blow some leaves with it. And guess what? How many times those cordless leaf blowers explode over the years from the batteries? And one little thing about these little cordless leaf blowers. Only one thing you have to replace is the carbon brushes. Just the carbon brushes. You have to replace the carbon brushes. That's mainly it. That's a good thing. I like them. They're good machines. They're, they plug right in and you turn on. And you blow all your leaves away. Even those plug-in lawnmowers. You saw those plug-in lawnmowers. There are hover lawnmowers and plug-in lawnmowers. They're the best machines in the whole entire world. What's next? They're going to have a battery power belt sander. You can plug in and what's that thing explodes. That'll be too much. So... Cordless vacuums are only great for cleaning small things, not for a whole house cleaning. You need is a plug-in vacuum cleaner. They're the best machines you can ever buy, a plug-in vacuum cleaner. I love having a plug-in vacuum cleaner. I have a dust buster that's cordless, have no issues with that. It's a Black Plus Decker, have it for so many years, still works by today, and the Shark Pet Perfect. That's it. You heard about the, the crumbie. It was a really old, it was a small little vacuum that picks up a little debris. It's like comes in nice little things, the bumblebee, all that stuff like those. Yes, they're, they're the ones I take the two AA batteries. What's next? Then you have to get a vacuum cleaner. You have to replace the battery. Replacing the battery each even three years. Like you have to have three years of battery replaced. If you don't replace the battery, you have to replace it every 30 years. I said, let's go make some battery power vacuums. Let's go have this shark vortex but a cordless upright you put a battery in and guess what someone bought it and guess what battery exploded just one day then you guess why you couldn't even use it anymore things trash you avoid and just say if you better if you mess up you avoid a warranty you avoid a warranty on other things if you mess things up like a wood chipper on the other hand you saw this industrial with the small wood, wood chipper if you break it and say threw some random objects in it broke you will definitely avoid the warranty on the machine like that it's like for like you chipping wood, like stuff like that, like a belt sander. There's probably ways to avoid the warranty. If you wire it wrong, you avoid the warranty. Like stuff, like vacuum cleaners are different. There's probably ways to avoid the warranty on it. If you actually, actually let's say on purposely broke it, you avoid a warranty. If something like breaks, it's too old, it's not covered. So Bissell gives you a two year limit of warranty on their machines. And it's really good to have to have a two-year limit of warranty. Two-year warranties are the best on machines. Like you be talking about getting a cordless vacuum cleaner, like a stick vac. And I did never mention stick vacs. I don't have a stick vac, so I like a stick vac. Maybe a little vacuum, like handheld vacs. They have machines that plug right into your wall socket and it cleans your floor carpets. And they make it in a mix with that. It's a little noisier than the other machines. It picks up more dirt. It can probably pick up a whole entire trailer park. And getting up to his industrial vacuums, it can pick, pick up a whole trailer park. Even those industrial fans, you probably saw them sit on the floor to dry the floor. They can be blow away a whole trailer park. Like, you will or have something that can blow away a whole trailer park or have something that's cordless, battery power, that can only blow away just one little piece of dust. That's it. So something that will blow the whole trailer park is probably the best to get. Like, I can't believe how well those machines are. I'll be talking about getting a lot of machines like that, fixing them up. How many times do you have to fix those things up? Like, a lot of stuff is going on with these machines, and you think it's the best way to clean your carpets, cordless. Well, cordless is the best way to do it, but cordless is good for lawn care. Like, 
like you got a cordless leaf blower and you blow leaves are noisy well they're less noisy than the gas powered ones but those bad boys will not blow anything out it won't even blow your whole driveway away it's not going to blow the whole entire driveway away you want to blow all that grass off your driveway if you are to blow grass onto your driveway that'll be perfect to have i want to blow grass on on my off my driveway i don't want to go near my driveway and blow grass I don't want to do that. Like, why do I want to blow grass away on for a driveway? And I said I can blow grass away off my driveway with an electric blower. Maybe a plug-in blower that plugs in a wall socket. It's the best idea we ever did. An electric leaf blower. The best idea. We all want an electric leaf blower. We all want those battery power ones, egos, and all their stuff. We do want all that type of stuff. We really do. We want some African, African kids go mining for lithium and all that stuff like why you want to do that like all those stuff that you make your batteries lithium batteries that last like they like those rechargeable batteries are always lithium like why do you always do that type of stuff like those are good things to have like i don't have lithium batteries but i know they're just the best idea to have if you are have a leaf blower would you buy a echo or a toro Echo is a good company. They make these good leaf blowers. They make the shredding vac, the vacuum shred. That's called shredding vac. So apparently, the shred it. Well, I don't know why Echo calls it that because it doesn't shred up leaves first. It needs to suck them up first before it gets shredded. So that's a one terrible name, and for a leaf blower, like we'd be talking about stuff like that. Even compare up to shot vacs. There are cordless shot vacs, and it's something good. Corolla shot vacs are good for small, they should be small and like really it's like the, the Walt, small DeWalt shot vac, their cordless version. You can pick up everything with it. You can even pick up a whole trailer park, how powerful those things can be. It's like, can you pick up a whole entire iced tea bottle with a cordless machine, but very full? And guess what? No, it wouldn't. Can I tell you why? Because they're not that much power. Like... Not that much power. Cordless vacuum can't pick up a whole entire a whole um, bottle of water or a whole thing like this. Iced tea. And I will make a quick video just for that because I'll show you how powerful is a corded a corded machine over a cordless machine. I don't have a cordless shot vac. They only have a corded shot vac. Well, a cordless shot vac is more power, but they don't have more power. All not a lot, so you have to charge a battery. So if you only have one battery left, and you have to do a whole um construction work guess what you can't even do that like you can't you have to have a plug-in shop back like a rigid or a craftsman or a stinger or a brand shop back you cannot have a regular little plug-in shop bag plug in and you pick up a whole entire trailer park with it like you go to walmart you spend money on a small shop back you're eliminating lowe's and home depot well lowe's has really good deals on their shop backs too so I recommend going on loads to buy a shop back. The Craftsman is $34. It's on sale right now for $34. On my other video, I do have a link below for it. Can't beat the deal. It's a small little Craftsman. It's the one I've shown on my, all my videos. Apparently, a lot of my videos, that thing has tons of power. So much power, it can pick up a whole entire trailer park. And I'm saying that because I know HPAD made a video about this. Um, the HPAD breeze that can blow the, on the fifth on the third speed and blow away a whole trailer park like that's perfect maybe like if you throw her off the building for the thing she'll break because she's a cheap fan versus like if you compare to a nice old bad boy that big old industrial drum fan some people throw a whole entire watermelon into it and it grinds it up like if you talk about their machines like why do you think a cordless like even those these floor buffers here they're also cordless well i like corded ones because you can plug into a wall socket and clean your floors you don't have to be waiting to have it to recharge your battery and that's going to be it for this video if you want any more videos like these i will post some more videos like this and i'll have some videos update videos for cordless machines so some cordless machines are good for small blow for small areas like a cordless leaf blower and that's going to be it for this video here